بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى هذا كتاب الأم This is الأم by إمام الشافعي إمام الشافعي wrote two books He put all his knowledge from Quran and Hadith and the practice of the companion and what he got from Imam Abu Hanifa who passed in 80, year, 80 Hijri and Abu Hassan, his uh, alpha student. So he put all the knowledge of the first 200 years of Islam in one book, two books. One is Risala. Is the Risala is like an institution for the law. And the law, it is Al-Om. Every book after that is smaller. Okay? And sometime maybe get confusing. This is a book which Imam Shafi'i produced leaders who manage businesses, who set up a new civilization, who were pure and hard, they didn't use <laughs> making money in Islam by selling knowledge like nowadays. Okay? He used to teach uh, in his mosque in Cairo between Moscow, Imam Shafi'i, very famous here, landscape. From morning till noon, he teach Quran, all sciences of Quran, Hadith, all sciences of Hadith. He is top scholar of Hadith, which rank called Amir al-Mu'mineen and Hafiz. These are the top. He went to Ahmad ibn Hanbal, became friend with him for four years, got all the hadith he has. Ahmad ibn Hanbal had 28,000 hadith with repetition, was about something like 6,000 without repetition. And so forth. So I don't know that anybody teaching in Om on earth today. Everybody's teaching small rabbit things. This is like 500 pound gorilla. He will teach studying rabbit. The max guy will teach him maybe sheep. Okay? So I call this like Imam Shafi'i by Imam Shafi'i. Imam Shafi'i school of thought. Uh, okay? Don't let somebody cheat you until you, this Imam Shafi'i was not aqidah or he was not this and that. Imam Shafi'i was mujaddid. The Prophet said every hundred years Allah sent somebody to make tajdeed, renewal put energy and the clear things for the people. Uh, Al-Om has nearly 2,000 chapters. <laughs> Give me a break. 3,005 pages. Okay? So, Al-Om means a mother, by the way, in the language, but we don't translate a name. All right? So, this is Imam Shafi'i by Imam Shafi'i, and that's all what you need to be great scholar of juris, jurist. And you will be better than anybody in Harvard, Oxford, Azhar, Zaytuna, in America, Zaytuna, in Tunisia, anywhere in planet, okay? We teach all Quran and Tobis. We teach all Hadith without repetition topics. We teach a biography of Prophet Muhammad, best for 900 years. We teach with a manual manuscript of faith, aqidah, by Imam Ghazali and by, by Tahawi. We do Christian dialogue by Isar al Haq and uh, Ahmad Dita and Dr. Zakir, which I wish he put a book like Ahmad Dita. We gave you thousand question and answer. So you are in good shape here. We have the best curriculum. Okay? I translate on the fly with comment needed conserv conservatively uh, so you understand. I give you an example. The word Tahur, Quran said we send water from heaven Tahur. Ma and Tahuran means Tahur is one word. Ma means water. Tahur, it has two meaning. Tahir means purifier and Mutahir make other purifier too. Okay? So this is an expression. I give you example. I take water from the river or spring or the rain or melted snow and I make ablution. After I make ablution, it fell down. It's still clean, pure, but not purifier. I cannot use it for ablution again or give it to somebody to do ablution with it. So this, the first water is ma'tahur. The second one is only tahir, but not mutahir, not 
giving the the status of purity okay spiritual status of purity this is a 300 percent course in our site and anyone can use it as long as it doesn't collect or charge money otherwise contact us in writing هذا الكورس مجاني على مواقعنا واستخدم مجانا في اي مكان 100% مجانا اي اي استخدام اخر اتصل بنا مثلا لو الطالب يدفع اجرا او هديه او ما الى ذلك and this is the email so we focus on the classic we don't want to focus on propaganda and debate and dialogue and all these western writer will go through them and try to sort things no 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 we do what the three generations, three centuries did. Older job, all the scholars say, Allah said, Prophet Muhammad said, Allah said, Prophet Muhammad. This is knowledge. Then the scholar interfere when he feel like your need that he want to understand a little more. Okay? Or you maybe misunderstand something. The Imam Shafi's name is Abu Abdullah Muhammad. ابن ادريس ابن العباس ابن عثمان ابن الشافعي ابن عبد المطلب ابن عبد المناف المطلبي القرشي المكي he passed away to 04 so I extracted all Quran and Hadith so all Hadith is his al is 2294 and the rest 2052 is ayat of Quran verses so this is his uh, foundation okay and this is like an appendix. All this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favors. Imam Shafi said Allah is above above what you describe. He meant Khawarik, the people who uh, try to associate like uh, current, this nowadays Salafi. They follow guy 600, they call him they are Salaf. <laughs> and Salaf are only in the first three generations. They, they suffer from shirk wathan al jiha sadisa li ala al fawqiya, the upper direction idol, the location. Sometimes they say it's empty location, or non existent, all this playing of game. Anyone tell you that Adam on the image of Allah like them and some Christian, it is wrong. If they say Allah is a body, physical body, coming down physically, he say, if so, anybody tell you is 60 foot, 60 R, 60, uh, like there are an arm length, as if he went and, and measure the Creator. And we believe in the unseen. So for them, it's not unseen, it is physical, it is idol. And they followed a liar called Amr ibn Subh. He himself admitted he lied. And he lied hadith in Kitab al Adama, Wahidun ibn Ulhiya for Lakum. They make the faith three sections, three faith. Iman is three with them, Kufr is three, and Islam is only one. Okay? And this is Uluhiya and so forth is Mustalah, Lugaw is Stunai, Mazdar Stunai, modern. So Allah make us pass away on the Akhidah of Shafi not Ibn Taymiyyah and these guys. So uh, this is like eight minutes, give you just tips. I will just tell you something. Imam Shafi'i was described by ulama like Imam Ahmad Ibn Hanbal, which higher than Ibn Taymiyyah for sure, but they don't leave Ibn Taymiyyah and go for him. They just have something in their heart. Ahmad Ibn Hanbal said, Imam Shafi'i is like the son of the universe. And he's like the health, good health for the body. You cannot live without these two. And he said, we didn't understand the hadith till we met him. We didn't know the superseded hadith. Hadith came, then the prophets gave us another hadith to supersede the first one. So we'll start with the chapter of at tahara In Arabic, they call kitab book of Tahara, then another book. And I, I was just going to do chapter to standardize the language because in English, if you translate Kitab or f or Bab, sometimes they say chapter as a Bab, Google will translate it door. So we don't want to confuse people. 
tell somebody review the proofread of our 109 languages draft. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kitab al-Taharati. Akhbarna al-Rabi' ibn Sulaiman. Rabi' ibn Sulaiman is the alpha student of Imam Shafi'i. He used to Imam Shafi'i to speak and he write down. So he akhbarna al-Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala. So he just says Shafi'i. He doesn't say big name, big that like nowadays. You know. Qala 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 Allah azza wa jal. إذا قمتم إلى الصلاة فاغسلوا وجوهكم وأيديكم إلى المرافق وامسحوا برؤوسكم وأرجلكم إلى الكعبين. So this is the table chapter, verse number six. Uh, the, the chapter number six. The verse Imam Shafi said. فكان بينا عندما خطب بالآية. It is very clear. To those who are addressed with this verse, which is the Muslims, that the, their washing is going to be by water. Then he make it clear, again, that this washing with water is very reasonable and very clear. That is the water which Allah created, blessed and most high, exalted is he, not a, do a doing or creation of a human being, they can't create anything. So it is the absolute water, the water in general, whether it is coming, water coming from heaven, or from earth, which is the rivers and, and springs and oceans, whether it is sweet water or salty water. Al-Qullat, Al-Qullat like water jug, very big. Uh, uh, you, they put something like, kind of like 192 kilos, like 50 kilos, four drums, you know. Or liter will be like 120 liters, stuff like that. And then regular size, uh, term richer, because can expand when it's warm or comes smaller in, in size when it's cold but if it turns into ice expand again anyhow so this kind of pure absolute water is uh, okay to use for purification of ablution and also of taking shower we make ablution and person pass gas and so forth go to the toilet and you take shower when a person have wet dream or have intercourse with his wife. This is my comment of when he said make ablution or take a shower. And it is very clear in Quran that that every water is pure like the water of the see and so forth وقد روى فيه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حديث and there is it is reported via the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is saying phrasing speech statement which in keeping with this apparent understanding of the Quran I just uh, I, it has one person I don't know Imam Shafi said that but I know it is is trustworthy because when they have a guy bad they immediately mark him ear mark him and drop his narration so no imam shafi will not use it okay imam shafi said akhbarna malik an safwa ibn ibn sulaiman an sa'id ibn salama rajul min ali ibn al az al azraq an al mughira ibn abi burda wa huwa min bani عبد الدار خبره أنه سمع أبا هريرة رضي الله عنه يقول He said that uh, he mentioned his chain have all these names because between he's in four two hundred so he has three four five people between him and the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he knows all of them sometime one or two he doesn't know because we know there are 60, 70,000 transmitter of 8,000 hadiths, you know. And all of them are in good shape with the exception and the people who fabricate came later in the 
after the 300 years, okay? So they round them, red mark them, and put them in special negative books, listing their names and their narrations, okay? Sa'ala rajulun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a man asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saying, O oh, Messenger of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, the Prophet used to love this name when you call him, O oh, Messenger of Allah. In the Narkabul Bahra, we write the sea, and we have a little of water, means with water. When I say means, is my language, okay? So if we made, make a pollution, we become Tharasi. Should we use the water of the sea? He meant the salty water. The Prophet replied, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, It is the Tahur Ma'u. Its water is Tahur. Remember, I told you Tahur is pure in itself and purifier. And it is halal. Anything dead comes out of it. You don't need slaughter, you don't need processing. With the exception of the stool. You know, you clean it, it's understandable, okay? But it's flesh, is okay. As Shafi'i said again, with a chain, I will be dropping that chain now, okay? So we can move on. Via Abi Huraira and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Man lam yutahiruhu al-bahru, fala tahharahu Allah. Whosoever the ocean doesn't purify him, may Allah doesn't purify him either. As Shafi'i said, فَكُلُّ مَا إِن تَهُورُ all water is pure unless if it mixed with filth, like a stool, urine, stuff like that, okay? And, but not like little muddy dust. Dust become muddy. It's a different story, okay? So now, this najasa filthy, sometimes he describe it as forbidden because it's forbidden to eat something dead to become filthy or something like a dog and a pig they are both are dead or alive filthy okay and based on that based on that i'm getting a call so based on that Lam tukhalitu najasa wala tahur. As long as the water is not mixed with filth, then it is pure. Okay? Now, there is something else I explained to you before. You have tahur water. But you have used water like an ablution, become second, and you mix with it, then here will get a problem. So as long as it's pure as is, okay? And the, the, the water is tahur, okay? The water is pure. Also, the dusty, uh, like sand and ground okay it is pure why he's saying that because later if you cannot make ablution with water then you can use dust okay called tayammum we'll study it later and all the all are the same all the water are the same whether it is water of snow or ice melted and water became warmed or not warmed because the, the fire which warm it is not filthy or dirty okay doesn't cause it to be dirty Imam Shafi said also that Omar ibn al-Khattab, this is the second caliph, radiallahu an, it was, they used to warm water for him, so he take shower or make ablution. Imam Shafi said, I don't consider the water which subjected to warming by sun, I don't consider it as disliked. 
except if the medicine decides so إلا من جهة الطب what is happening like if you put water in copper and keep it in the sun and become hot and stuff like that some uh, medical people say it can cause you get leprosy so he's, he's leaving this for medical people to decide okay what he say I don't consider it hated this is terminology in Islam you have an obligation and you have prohibition okay these two are subject to reward and punishment if you don't do the obligation you get punished if you do the prohibited you get punished if you don't do if you do the ob uh, obligation you get reward if you avoid the prohibition you get reward now comes after that two cases dislike like what he's talking now if you do the dislike you don't get punished and likable things desirable recommended but not obligated you if you do it you get reward then you have the neutral thing like you know you drink water or just walk or something this is, this is you are permitted to do scientists it's not subject of the other four okay so he said that Omar used to dislike taking shower was was uh, exposed to the sun till it become warm and he said it will make you inherit the leprosy okay Imam Shaf I said the status of the water is purity like you know rule of the thumb and it doesn't become filthy except who's what it makes with it of fills okay and as we discussed before the sun and the fire they are not filthy and the filthy is what is forbidden however if people uh, make like water of flower uh, sorry if roses a squeeze or like a seam or whatever and if they do if they squeeze uh, like uh, veggie put in mix and squeeze it and become liquid let us use the word liquid okay so all this liquid they call ma they are water of something rose water water of like say grass water so these liquids they are pure in itself but they are not going to purify because they are not the water the absolute water we discussed before they didn't come from heaven or came up naturally from earth including the bodies of animal like say if you get water coming after the slaughter okay it comes from say the blood is gone and you squeeze the meat or the stomach or something and you get some water especially like the camel the camel has a lot of water in his tummy so if it gets squeezed and especially if they are thirsty and, and travel in desert and have no water they have to use that so this will be pure in itself but will not be i'm not talking about soul or any bad thing which just uh, because the body 90 over 90 percent of it made of water allah created everything from water so it will be pure in itself but is not purifier because it's not called water by itself it has to be water with adding additional word okay they call it mudaf mudaf ali when you use off the car of so and so so this has become his car now not just any car and he cannot make up the issue of any of that now coming back to discuss the title of the water the water which is becomes filthy and the water which cannot be filthy Imam Shafi rahimahullah said the water is two kind running water and stagnant water by the way guys these are good 
for like wildlife when the city water is not coming when you are traveling when you are doing camping so this is very applicable okay so the water is two kind one is a water of a running water one is stagnant now talking about now running water if something forbidden filth or a dead animal and blood and so forth fill in it and was not in the running stream was like can on the side so become little st stagnant on the side so this will this and what around it is going to be considered filthy though it is running in the middle but that part has to be a size of to be to be less than a size a special tank size which is that we said 192 kilo or 120 liters so if it's less than that then it is bad forget it and if it is bigger than that okay then it's not going to be filthy then so like a little bird dead bird or something fell in the water and it is very huge it will be okay however there is another rule we short circuit or decide accordingly that that water like any water has that test the smell and the color should not change and of course the dirt and things thrown in that river spring it keep moving and the new water after it like a meter after it it is okay i ask I, let me give you an example i have a hose of water and water coming very fast then i take a spoon of salt or sugar and put it after uh, you know on the tip of the water so it will affect only a few centimeters and it will be running once i raise my f spoon the water coming from this is good so this is what we're talking about trafficking it Nobody will take the what is around the dirty swimming. Will take from fresh, nice water, and it's coming in a huge amount. So if it pass, fine. Let it pass. Okay. So it is very clear now. Okay. So if uh, the the water is little, the running very little, spraying and have a a dead animal and a person make abduction from around it will not be acceptable will not be valid ablution he has to go find another water or there is no water he used a tayammum using the pure dust okay and anyhow the measurement of five like water jack skin water jack or clay water jack they counted some 192 kilos, as I told you, and they call this is a two, they are, they call it kolla. Also, you have two sides of kolla, uh, need a strong man or two people to carry each, having the 500 pounds Baghdad of Iraq pounds, and this amount to what I said, 192 kilos, all right? So if the water less than that, okay he has to use other than this water because whatever is run away with uh, fills on it the after it is okay it's which means he has to leave that size of like four four five four drums to move on 50 kilogram uh, drums for example I think that the point is very clear now okay so this idea of mixing and the running and the common sense very clear okay so when the, you have this mix going on okay you have to do this assessment by size by the smell and taste and color okay and then you decide accordingly if it's going to be good for ablution we're not talking about eating and drinking here, we're talking total ablution and taking 
shower okay to remove the impurity spiritual impurity status small one for ablution going to toilet and major one which is to do with with dreams and intercourse so the law as he said if it's little or a lot little means less than 190 kilo a lot more than that if mixed with filth if smell taste or color change then this will be considered filthy now so when it move on and doesn't and then now the, the running water is not changing anymore this, this will be go will be okay otherwise the first passage of the there filthy in it will be and the water around it will be filthy. Now suppose there is a water, a running water, but has a little hole in the bottom, like, okay? And it has water there which doesn't move. Okay, so it becomes stagnant underneath, you know, like they call bottom fishing, you know? So if it makes with filth, will be forbidden and will be filthy then that stagnant water under the running water and again we'll count the size of the five water skin water jug size okay however if the water was running through it with everything then the applic that will not be applied then. However, if the water run, suppose it run one kilo, but at the end is stagnant, okay, then it will take the law of stagnant water. It will be filthy if the size is small or size bigger, but the color and taste and smell change. Now he's talking about another chapter now al ma al rakit the stagnant water he said the stagnant water not running like stand still you know nothing will make it filthy unless it is mixed with filth and its color smell and taste change okay And of course, if some of these filthy things and dead animal and so forth, forbidden to eat, is inside it, as we described before, whether it is running or stagnant. So if somebody asks, what is the difference between what it becomes why you have this size this is mean why why some water can be filthy some cannot be filthy so what's the proof in a way so you see the sunnah the prophetic saying prophetic style prophetic ways that the prophet said if the water is too means water jug skin or clay lam yahmil najasan aw khabathan will never be filthy then and reported idha kana al ma' qullatayn lam yahmil najasan and they may the reference qilal hajar an area having famous water jug again we'll go back to the size i gave you before the 190 total of 192 kilo or 120 liter okay so one uh, saying i saw ibn jurai said i saw the hajar containers each one it it can be filled with two korbatain and maybe a little more again like a person will make a water take a height of maybe sheep and make a water jug of it and, and they call this korba, okay? They use it, but sometimes milk keep beating it like a milkshake and turn it into butter. 
We use it for liquid and use it for drinking. Okay. Sweet water, the guy that will sell water or give away water, you will see him carrying one of the skin leather water container. Okay. So it is like two, two and a half. Uh, so the total will be five. Okay. F and this will be the two collatine. This is what I mentioned to you, 500 pound. So each one will be 250 pound of Iraq. I'm just saying this to, so you become familiar. If you read any, any book, you know that. But I give you already the total. So when he said that the water doesn't carry fills in it, if it reached that size, means the size before it can carry it then. So this is the proof that that limits. Above it is okay, underneath. Uh, here we are talking with unreasonable, like small rat fall in this, small bird fell in five, uh, five tank of about 450 kilogram, uh, a kilogram 55 or four drums of 50 kilo is huge. So this small will not do anything. But if a cow did sheep fill in it, of course, it's going to mess it up because it will kick the other short circuit regulation of smell, taste, and color, right? So this is the whole summation, okay? So in this collar, uh, this collar, let me get you a collar so you get an idea because some different sizes. Okay, do you see this one in my hand? This is considered collar made in clay. You, you put water or let me get this one. So this cola is made of clay. It spills some of the water when evaporated, make it cool. So, and sometimes you have good bacteria, okay, lives in it. So it is very nice. But this is small one. You see, like you carry it with one hand. The other one we are talking about maybe, maybe what, fifty, hundred times like that it has to be carried by two people or a strong man. So this is the word cola. But this is like clay. If it is made of a skin, it's going to be korba. Okay? So I just, somebody asked, I asked him to buy me some like that clay so I can cook, one to cook and one to put water in it. And uh, he decided to give it to me gift. And I didn't like that because I asked him on my behalf to be uh, my agent to buy him, trying to convince to pay him. So now, what happened, he said, we are talking about the big kharab, okay? The big kolla, the big size of stuff, okay? Not the small one like I show you, okay? Now, suppose the container itself become dirty, okay? Of course, if, it, if you have the water is dirty, the container also will be dirty. So you throw the water, then get good water to wash it. You clean it. So you make it pure. Otherwise, you put and then we'll get into fills status again. So this is the end of the first lesson from Alhamdulillah. Congratulations, you made it. If you have any question, please, by all means, uh, send me email. And later, we can get into WhatsApp or some kind of conversation. I'm here to serve you, Fisabilillah. I'm not after money from you or favor or anything. Only if you kindly make dua for me that Allah forgive me. Okay? Because I'm trying to do my best to serve, but I feel I'm not doing a good service. For different circumstances, communication and uh, the competition with other people take you away from this kind of good lessons, okay? We produce a lot of work.
and you can see about the open Islamic ultimate open Islamic college you can read the tape and read the document of all our clickram so we did a lot of work so I hope you, it will benefit you so we will continue doing this I mean Imam Shafi like that give you kind of like 20 at a time so you start learning everything all right and I hope I'm clear I hope this good comment of recommendation what you want me to do do you want me to say more slowly more loudly uh, things of that nature I tried the streaming it didn't work because the bandwidth here is not very strong okay uh, I will give you the whole book by the way as PDF and the document word document and that kind of format I have for you too so you can have it almost like kind of like one is screen full at a time okay and if you go to our site allah.com muhammad.com mosque.com we have a lot of books which you can read one section at a time one of it uh, translated by Keller and, and Khadija and myself uh, we gone over his work and did a good job you read a page you read 50 page when you come next time it will take you straight to the 50 page so it's very nice. Go review all the English collection. We have we have the largest shelf, and all contemporary English, good quality, doesn't exist anywhere. So you have we have 350 books you can download if you don't want to read them online. Okay, so we are giving you all the facility or doing our our best because we want you to turn to be very valuable knowledgeable man or woman to spread Islam and to be sure of yourself and not to fill in track of oh accredited and oh, take a degree so you can work and make money from that no go be like Elon Musk okay he make a electric car you can make also electric car I saw in YouTube a man said you know this little speaker the small ones if you reverse uh, reverse it is like drum reverse it it will produce electricity for you which means if the body of the car all of it like this uh, drum speakers and reverse this will generate electricity by mere driving okay also do you remember the wind the the what you call the wind like windmill to generate electricity so a car cover for example ha can have a little a few fans running and produce by mere running imagine driving very fast you can generate from the wind electricity and run it and no need for for the for electricity you know they are trying to sell you or charge your you can need only one battery just to get you start going then the the wind will start building up so you could use the electric the battery only if you stuck and say and you can charge it by the same alternator you don't need special charge just get the regular battery to get you going and the to get you going when you are in the, say traffic and things of that nature okay so we can invent a car little more advances than his okay i'm sure his is durable but we can do it for the poor you know and the need you will be great so I like you to learn technology go to MIT and learn technology if you are in technology contact me I like to compete with Facebook I know how to kill it I don't mean violent you know I, I, I am a technology architect work in fortune 500 okay so alhamdulillah Allah gave me a lot of knowledge and Islamic and, and and life okay any contacting with me will be confidential I will tell you my opinion male or female and jazakallah khair thank you very much subhanak allahumma bihamdika wa tabaraka smuka wa ta'ala jadduk wa la ilaha ghayruk wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh